All right. Welcome to the first real episode of our Mech Deep Dives. So today we will be looking exclusively at the Adder, and it has a lot of variants. A lot of them. And they're basically all run by clan or society, with the exception of the Puma, which is the Pirate Adder. So we'll, we're going to start with that one since it's the oddball out. So it is the only Adder that does not have the narrow low profile quirk, which I, in my opinion is the best quirk for a light mech. Uh, it instead has accurate weapon missiles. It does still have the plus one defense and melee defense affinity at, at 20. Uh, at 40, it has plus one accuracy and minus one recoil for missiles. And then at 130, it has better AMS. Uh, and minus 10% missile damage taken and plus one AMS damage. So that instead of doing one damage to missiles, most AMS will do two damage to missiles, which is pretty good. In any case, uh, yeah, again, pirate. So instead of clan tech, it's got risk tech in its head. Uh, it has rocket packs, tandem rockets, pirate medium lasers, and a regular XL engine instead of a clan XL. So it also has proto double heat sinks, but actually I think this is just proto double heat sinks. Um, in any case, it's not great. Um, the, the Puma is, it's a pirate mech. Um, it, it does have a crazy alpha strike because of the rocket packs. Uh, so definitely, oh yeah, it is proto double heat sinks. Okay. Uh, so definitely look out for that. And if you come across one and you want the protos, just don't destroy the legs. That's where the protos are. So that's the, the quick look at the Puma. It's, it's the exception. So. We're going to start with uh, the majority of the variants, the majority of them, the ones that I don't specifically go through here, they're all essentially the same. Usually they have like two clan double heat sinks, clan double heat sink kit, clan XL engine, etc. And they're just different weapon loadouts. I picked out specifically the couple that have the most clan double heat sinks. So if you're trying to farm clan double heat sinks, uh, the... C variant, the D variant, and the H variant, I believe, are the ones that have the most double heat sinks. Uh, the S variant is not. So yeah, H, D, and C are the best variants of the adder for farming clan double heat sinks. Uh, we'll, we'll go through them real quick, but first let's just go over. Again, narrow low profile, so plus one defense on the mech, period. Uh, and then agile at 20 affinity gives you plus one defense and plus one melee defense. So it if you have 20 affinity on any adder except for the Puma, and from now on I'm just going to say any adder and just understand that it means except for the Puma. Any adder with 20 agility or with 20 affinity is going to have plus two defense or plus three defense against melee. That is very, very good for keeping little squishy light mechs alive. Uh, also, it's a 35 tonner. So, as far as light mechs go, it's the heaviest you can get, and that that extra 5 or 10 tons uh, over most light mechs is very, very good. Very important. So, this is a mech that can last through the mid-game easily. Especially once you get higher affinity, because you get, with 40 affinity, you get plus 1 max evasion. Which, in and of itself, isn't great, unless you have, you know... Well, the, the engine cores are locked at two tens. I think I think most all of them are two tens, uh, which I think is six six nine, I believe. Um, but if you throw in mask and supercharger, you can easily get this thing past six uh, evasion. And it does help if you have reckless on the mech warrior in the adder. The plus one max evasion offsets the penalty from uh, Reckless, giving you minus one max evasion. So you can still get the six hex or six uh, chevrons of evasion despite having Reckless, which is good. Uh, if you keep it around and drop on a lot of missions with it, it does get crit resist, heat generation reduction, um, increases the heat damage it deals, and reduces stability damage taken. So good deal, good stuff. But more importantly, 
This particular variant, the C variant, has Clan LRM 15s, which are short of using Clan LRM 5s in an Omnimech and having like 20 of them. Uh, Clan LRM 15s are the best bang for your buck that you're going to get for uh, not only tonnage and damage, but also for the, the fact that you will be able to take up only a single hard point with 15 missiles. The, the Clan LRM-5 does more damage per ton, fires more missiles per ton. However, you need three hard points to get 15 missiles. So the Clan LRM-15 is the most efficient when you take hard points into consideration. In any case, it also is great to, to grab for the early game. If you come across them, if you can take them down just by taking their legs off, Sure, you get the Clan XL engine and stuff, but you can also get Clan Medium Pulse Lasers, which are exceptional early game as long as you can manage the heat. Um, they're, they have the bonus accuracy and evasion ignore of regular Pulse Lasers, but they do, I believe, 9 more damage, which is significant. That's a that's a 30% increase to the amount of damage they would do. So, Clan Medium Pulse Lasers are actually quite good early game. And it has a clan narc launcher, which is super light and really good. Uh, narc launchers are super effective early before your mech warriors get good, you know, at, at tactics uh, and have low sensor rolls. Landing a narc on a target will help immensely with your early game hit chance. The Adder D, by a similar vein, has a lot of heat sinks. Um, this one in particular has, let's see, uh, one, two, Oh no, this is the one that has the Clan ER Large and the Clan UAC-5, which are for that particular hard point to, like, in my opinion, the Clan UAC-5 is the best game, or the best ballistic hard point weapon for the entire early and mid game. Uh, because it's the, the tonnage is perfect, the range is perfect, the damage is perfect, like, it is a best in slot item up until you get to heavy and assault mechs that can, you know, afford to drop in heavier armaments. But even then, the Clan UAC-5 gives better range than the Clan UAC-10 or Clan UAC-20. So, it still is a, an incredibly effective... Like, old Clan UAC-5s are good throughout the game. Period. They're light enough that you can use them on light mechs, even... And they're effective with a combination of damage, stability, range, and tonnage that you can use them for the rest of the game. Clan ER large lasers, exactly the same, but for energy hard points. Like, best in slot as far as damage versus tonnage versus heat buildup compared to other energy weapons. Just the, the D variant here, it's got some good stuff. So definitely leg it if you can. Um as well as the Clan Double Heat Sinks, but mostly try to leg a Clan A Adder D so you can get the Clan UAC-5, Clan ER Large Laser, and, you know, Clan XL Engine and Double Heat Sink Kit and stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's the C and the D out of the way. Uh, the H, I believe, is actually the one that has, yeah, this is the one that has tons of Clan Double Heat Sinks. So, if you are looking for Clan Double Heat Sinks, the Adder H is a loot pinata. It has a pair of Clan Large Heavy Lasers. Now, also keep in mind, while you're facing it, that's 160 damage. Okay? 160 damage. But it also has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Clan Double Heat Sinks in one mech. So if you're fighting for an allied faction, you could get a multi-stack of Clan Double Heat Sinks. Easily. So, even if you don't need them, specifically, that's a lot of money. Clan Double Heat Sinks stacked together is a lot of money. And the more there are of a single item on the loot table, the more likely your allied faction is to stack them. So if you can leg the Adder H, you can potentially get pretty big stacks of Clan Double Heat Sinks and sell them for an insane amount of money. And again, large heavy lasers. 80 damage apiece. So, yeah. Um, bonus points, it has a battle computer tracking as well as a battle computer long range. So, battle computer tracking, good stuff. 
probably the best battle computer, I believe. Like, in my opinion, it is the best battle computer. So, moving on, we have the Adder S. The S variant also has Clan Medium Pulse Lasers, and a lot of them. And again, Clan Medium Pulse Lasers are pretty good early game. Like, it, as long as you can handle the heat, they are far better than Inner Sphere Pulse Lasers. They have better range, they have better damage, and all you have to do is manage the heat. These, uh, the Adder S also has Clan Dual Machine Guns, which are neat. Uh, just go ahead and show you. So, fires between 1 and 6 shots as usual, but it's not 1 and 6 single shots, it's 1 and 6 double shots, because it's 2 machine guns, basically. So, what that means is for half a ton, half a ton, you can fire times 12. It's really good. <laughs> In any case, yeah, so if you can get them open, the clan dual machine guns will shred. Uh, and the medium pulse lasers are really good. So early game Adder S's offer a lot, a lot of value. Later in the game, mid to late game, they're kind of just whatever. Now we have the Adder I. The Adder I also has a lot of heat sinks. So it has two, four, Six, seven, seven clan double heat sinks. Again, if you leg it, this is a loot pinata. Um, it also has clan SRM sixes, which are incredibly good if you slap like thirty or not thirty of them. Uh, if you slap like six of them on a clan Omni, and you're firing thirty six Inferno SRMs or thirty six, even just regular damage SRMs, that's a lot of damage, but. Specifically, if you're using them for, for a tool, uh, toolbox, SRM6's clan are really good. They're, they're lightweight, they only take up one slot, and they can apply six stacks of whatever. It also comes with medium-improved heavy lasers, so you don't have the accuracy penalty. And two clan ER medium lasers in each arm, which are really effective. One ton, you can't beat them. As long as you can manage the heat, you cannot beat a Clan ER medium laser for one ton. There is, there is not another weapon system as far as range and tonnage and heat that is as efficient as ER medium laser clan. Medium improved heavy lasers, definitely one ton, very strong. But they, they generate, I think, twice the heat that... I mean, actually, let me just look. Let me just compare them directly. So, the Clan ER Medium, again, takes one ton, does 30 damage for 20 heat, and the crit chance is negligible. Versus the Medium Improved Heavy, that takes one ton, two slots, and only does 40 damage with 26 heat. So, spend six more heat to get ten more damage, but it also, again, takes two slots instead of one. Also, it can explode. <laughs> so, the medium improved heavy will explode if it gets crit, whereas the E or medium does not. So, again, that's personal opinion. Some people prefer the medium improved heavies, but clan ER medium lasers are really good for one ton. The Adder J. This is a crit monster. Watch out for it. If you see an Adder J, do not let your armor get opened. It has four anti-personnel Gauss rifles and a clan Gauss rifle hyper assault 20. What does that mean? It means if you are open, it will crit you out. 100%. It has so much crit and so many damage instances that you will get crit. So, prioritize it, honestly. Before, before your armor gets open, have this thing dead. Because if your armor is open, it will wreck your face. So, Adder J, that's the first one I'm really giving you a big warning on. 
the Adder Prime. Adder Prime has Battle Computer Criticals, Multitrack, and Range. Other than that, it has Clan ER PPCs, which one ton, or not one ton, two slots, uh, six tons, I believe, and do 75 damage. And I believe they're less heat than a large improved heavy laser. As well as applying the ECM stacking. You just have one recoil you need to gener uh, deal with. But yeah, it's about the same heat as a large improved heavy. Does five less damage, more stability damage, better crit chance. So yeah, Clanny RPPCs, good tech, really good tech. And there's a pair of them on this little adder. So the Adder Prime, if you want a Clan ER PPC, take either side off. If you want the Battle Computers, take off the right side. Or left side. Silly me. I, I was thinking in terms of the Paper Doll in-game, where the right side is actually shown on the left, and the left side's shown on the right, because it's the, the mech facing you. Whereas here on the wiki, they actually have it left side on the left and right side on the right, which makes sense, but threw me off for a second. So you want to take off the left side and wreck the center torso from the left side if you want the battle computers. Then we have the second to last of the clan adders. We have the clan TC adder. So the TC is designed for hunting infantry and vehicles. It has a lot of clan machine guns. It also has pulse lasers and battle computers. It's got a couple of heat sink doubles, not the most, but not the least. But still, the clan machine guns, each one of them weighs 0.25 tons. So altogether, yeah, that's literally two and a half tons of machine guns, and it's firing 60 instances of damage that have a high crit chance. As well as the large pulse laser and the battle computers. And again, so with all adders, if you want the battle computers, take out the left side. In the left side, there's a clan active probe and a clan AMS, but the, the better stuff is in the right side. So, also, if, if you hit it from the right side, the AMS ammo could explode from the right torso and damage... If there's an ammo explosion, less of the loot from the damaged location ends up on the loot table. Versus if you just destroy a location, the contents of that location have a higher chance of showing up on the loot table. So, yeah, destroying adders from the left is preferable. Then we have the Adder Z. So the Adder Z is the Society Adder. It has a Fire Control Heat Society, as well as the Clan Cockpit. It has Society Sensors. So its head components that are fixed are actually adequate for a light mech. You can just not use other fire control cockpit sensors and just run this thing through mid-game, not risking anything if you eject. That's, in my opinion, what makes this the best adder, as far as salvaging it and building it. The adder Z. Because the head components are better than the standard clan head components, mostly because of the fire control heat. So... You can just run this thing and eject as needed and save the mech and its components. But it also comes with Society MRM-30s, which, in my opinion, are the best MRMs in the game. Mind you, MRMs, not heavy MRMs. So these things have the regular minus one accuracy and minus 20% chance to be shot down, uh, as all MRMs. But it fires 30 MRMs for 6 tons. 30 MRMs for 6 tons. And it does the regular full 5 damage per ton, or per missile. So the only thing, the only downside to the Society MRM-30 is the higher heat, which is incredibly manageable, especially if you're... I mean, if you're taking down clan mechs early on and getting clan double heat sinks going, you're set. It also has MRM Apollo ammo, 
So if you do slap in whatever mech that you throw the MRM-30 society into, if you if you salvage the mech and use uh, Artemis IV, you can easily fire uh, use the Apollo MRMs. So once more, if you're trying to quickly kill it, take out the left side. Adders always go for the left side. The better stuff is in the right side. The more valuable stuff in every single adder, as far as I saw, as I looked through them, the most valuable stuff was in the right torso as compared to the left torso. The right arm compared to the left arm. But again, if you want a pair of Society MRM-30s, take off its legs and enjoy all of the loot. And then that brings us finally to the Kegel, the Adder KGL. This thing has a clan exchanger, for one, really good. But it also has the heavy Pharaoh Void system, so stealth armor that also reduces tonnage, AP Gauss rifles, and the other really noteworthy thing was the Clan Mask, Clan Nova, e, Clan, uh, the Nova Clan EWS, which is the best electronic warfare in the game, in my opinion. Um, it's for the tonnage, you get the best benefits. It provides protection to the mech carrying it as well as allies within range. It has battle computer criticals, tracking, and range. Again, tracking battle computer, best in the game. This thing, all the valuable stuff is all over the place. You definitely want to leg it. 100% leg the Kegel. If you come against it, even headshotting it, you lose some good stuff, like the gunnery A and B. So just leg it. <laughs> give up the give up the the full salvage and just combine it with a different adder, because it is compatible with every other adder. So give up the one the one piece by blowing its legs off, and enjoy all the loot you could possibly want. The hardest part about the Kegel is going to be selecting which parts you want after the fact. Now, it does have medium chem lasers, which, I mean, they're not terrible. As far as weapon systems go, I mean, they're 25 damage, medium lasers for half a ton. You just have to have ammo for them. But the, the rest of the equipment, literally everything else in the mech, is good. So, the Kegel is the prize salvage. Take off the legs and enjoy all of the loot. So, I will give a short synopsis TLDR sort of thing here at the end. And that has been my coverage of the Adder Clan Omnimech. Yeah, I hope you found it useful, and until next time, have a good one.